Welcome to yet another video of Fragrant Gem, guys. And these are five Middle Eastern perfumes you need to try at least once. So the first one will be Interlude 53 by the House of Amwad. And uh, I have Interlude 53, that is the reason I'm highlighting this one. But then you can try even the Interlude or Interlude Black Iris that are the other two flankers of this one. Once you try this, you're going to know what a powerful perfume smells like. Because this smells like nothing you might have ever sniffed in your life. And trust me when I say this, because when I sniffed this perfume for the first time, I mean to say the entire DNA of the Interlude line, I was... You know, I might just, I don't even have a word right now what exactly and how to describe this perfume. But then, yeah, your mind will be blown when you sniff this perfume. Very, very spicy, incense and it has oud, but then I'm pretty sure the oud here is not even detectable because all the spicy notes, all the incense notes are literally eating the oud inside this perfume. And you, you know, just three to four sprays of this perfume and you're good for the entire day. The only problem is that this is specifically good for uh, winters or cold weather. So if you apply this in summers, you are dead. The second one is by the house of Ajmal and this is called Oud Desire. Now, this is one of the best seller everywhere, even in India. And, uh, you know, by the time it released, I was, you know, I, I got crazy because I sniffed this perfume at Ajmal store and I wanted to have it and I got it. So the golden looking bottle shows how rich the entire perfume is. The presentation is mesmerizing and very, very, um, I'll say uh, Middle Eastern. That is the best word to describe this perfume because of the golden bottle and the golden presentation. And uh, the perfume here is Oud. I mean, of course, the name of the perfume is Oud Desire. So it has the most prominent, the most subtle and absolutely amazing Oud inside. And I don't know why the tobacco note is not uh, mentioned in this official notes breakdown, but then I do get tobacco in this one. Again, the type of perfume that you can wear anytime, anywhere, but then in a little bit of a cool atmosphere or maybe in the AC. The third one is the new hype by the house of Ahmed Al Maghribi, and this is called Merge. Now, Merge is a little bit on the same side of uh, Ajmal's Wood Desire. I mean, the kind of DNA Ajmal Wood Desire has the dusty, the dry and the spicy kind of scent profile this has the same scent profile but then consider this as a, a more refined version a more sweet version maybe because of the fruits and uh, overall i love this one i mean just look at the bottle here and uh, i think this is a 100 ml bottle no this is a 60 ml bottle but then this is absolutely amazing and the cost of this one is around i think uh, 3000 to 3500 rupees in india right now absolutely amazing stuff and once again if you're looking for a spicy middle eastern kind of perfume that is going to remind you of dubai this is something you should try the fourth one is the best oud and rose combination i have ever sniffed so far and this is uh, abdul samad al qureshi's al qureshi blend and uh, this is the kind of dna that i feel is the best for functions um any kind of parties maybe uh, you know at your marriage or something because uh, this is a kind of scent profile, at least in India, you cannot wear this one in the office. Uh, maybe at your home is fine, but then in the office, people are not going to like it because it is very, very strong. It is very, very uh, pungent kind of perfume. Um, yeah, for the kind of events that I've just mentioned, this is the best. Uh, and I'm just referring this thing uh, subjectively because this is what I feel. Um, you can wear it maybe, uh, so it is totally your call. Um, Oud and rose combination done in an amazing manner. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have you have sniffed this perfume somewhere. Now, if you have sniffed Armaf's Shades Wood, you are going to love this one because uh, I feel that uh, this one is a niche version of Shades Wood by the house of Armaf. And uh, I think um, this is also similar to Blue Sapphire by the house of Odisha the Victorious. Correct me if I'm wrong. If it is, I, I'm pretty sure it is Blue Sapphire. So... If you love Blue Sapphire, you're going to love this one. If you love Armas Shades Wood, you're going to love this one. If you hate them, no need to buy this one. The last one again is by the house of Abdul Samad Al Qureshi and this is Safari Extreme. Now, this is one of the best seller and the best in terms of everything. I mean, considering the price point, considering the presentation and the, considering the entire scent profile. This is a leather centric perfume. But then what's ironic here is that uh, leather is not mentioned anywhere. So it, it is a little bit weird because in the official notes, they have not mentioned leather, 
they mentioned all the other stocks but then uh, still i mean this is well known in the market in the fragrance community as being a leather centric perfume so once again if you love leather fragrances like tuscan leather or ombre leather you are gonna love this one now i consider this one as a middle eastern version of ombre leather so if you know or if you have sniffed ombre leather by tom ford just make sure that you try this one again and once you try this you'll know what i'm speaking about so great stuff under budget not i won't say under budget but then out of india it is under budget in india it is still available for i think around 10 to eleven thousand rupees uh, for a 75 ml bottle so is up to you and once again this is the kind of uh, perfume that is best suited for winters for cold weather and uh, for summers you are gonna definitely avoid this one so these are my top five leather fragrances recommendations let me know in the comment section what leather fragrances you have tried so far